Father and our God, we give glory to your name, the Most High God, the one who reigneth in the affairs of men, the one with the everlasting arms, the unchanging changer, the one with whom nothing shall be impossible. Lord, we have come to praise you, Lord. We have come to give you thanks. For giving us another opportunity to see another glorious day, another glorious month, another glorious year in the land of the living. What shall we render unto you, O God, today for all your benefit, for all what you have done for us? Father, we are grateful, O God. We bless your holy name. We say, Allah be thy name in Jesus' name. Father, as we go briefly into your word this morning, Lord, minister your word unto us in Jesus' name. Both the speaker and the hearer, help us to be the doer of the word, and let your name be glorified. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Briefly this morning, before we be on our way, we will observe this word of the Lord together. And I believe at the end of the day, the Lord will minister his word to you in Jesus' name. Today, being a very symbolic day, is a special Thanksgiving day. So our message is coming from that direction. And I'll be ministering briefly on this topic that says, Thanksgiving to God. Thanksgiving to God. Uh, our text taken from the book of Luke, chapter 17, from verse 11 to 19. But because of our time, I will read, start from verse 15 to 19. Luke 17. From verse 15 to 19. And one of them, you'll be that one today who comes to give thanks to the Lord in the name of Jesus. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and gave a loud voice, glorified God, and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answered and said, Were well, there not ten cleansed? But we are the nine. They are not fan that return to give thanks, glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made you whole. Praise the Lord. Brethren, God expects us as believers, as Christians, to give thanks in all circumstances we are confronted with. This particular scripture, Jesus he came, the Bible says, as he went to Jerusalem, he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. The Bible says, and uh, there was a particular village. There, he met ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. Leprosy is a stigma on its own. So Jesus met ten men that were lepers. But when there is one thing those ten lepers did that day that brought healings to them. 
The Bible says, all of them, they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. They lifted up their voices unto God. They know he's a great physician. They asked for mercy. And they received that mercy. They received healing. Partial healing. After all, they have been tagged, stigmatized by the community that these are lepers. And they have separate place where they normally put them. But when they recognized that it was Jesus that was passing by, they lifted their voices unto the Lord for mercy. And Jesus said, well, be healed. And uh, all of them, they received partial healing. And they discovered all of a sudden that their leprosy, their situation has changed. Status changed. At least we were not like how we found ourselves before. And they look at themselves, so this is how healing can take place. And uh, nine of them counted it that after all, Jesus, that is his work, to heal us. So if we will not heal us, well, what is his function? But one of them, look at himself. I believe you will be that one today. He said, look at himself. He said, so I made it to 2021. So my sorrows are gone. Problems are gone. That's why all the problems of 2020, that's why all those people that have gone down the drain, it's not that you know how to do things. So you made it to this end. Ah. I will return back and look for him and give him thanks. The Bible says, and one of them, in verse 15, when he, he saw that he was healed, turned back with a loud voice, glorify God. And he fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Another scripture says, and he was a stranger. One lesson I first want us to learn from here is that if you look at statistics in most cases in our churches, when miracle is about to start happening, in most cases, newcomers that are just coming, at times, they quickly normally receive their miracle before uh, people that are already used to church. Because they look at it, oh, Wow, choirs are singing, youth are singing, what a powerful song. And they begin to receive their miracle. What a glorious dance, what this. Ah, and God will begin to do one thing. But there are times some of us that are already used to the thing say, Oh, uh, how many minutes are they going to dance? Uh, just uh, when they leave that one, uh, it's so 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 that will come up. After that one, they will be calculating. I pray this year, may you not miss your day of your glorification in the name of Jesus. You will not miss your day of blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. One came back and gave thanks. And the God said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? Maybe I will step on some people's toes today. When God, Jesus was talking about ten, in our days it may be thousands. In Nonsville, how many? And God is saying, some people are still busy now. It's my work. It's my work. It's my... Let me tell you, brethren, the day, if you refuse to leave that work, that work will leave you one day. You better learn from now that in year 2021, you want to cling to God. You want to serve God. God is saying, in 2020, I spare the lives of these people. I kept them safe. I just ask them, come and worship me. And people will have all manners of excuses. Excuses. Some may even say coronavirus is on the way. Some may, and that coronavirus did not stop them from going to their places of work. But when they are coming to church, the devil will tell them, maybe the coronavirus is on Blue Spring Road. It's not on Blue Spring Road. Praise the Lord. The Lord will continue to keep you safe in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus says, we are there not then cleansed. We are the nine. God is asking us also today also. Are these the only set of people I cared for in 2020 that rem rem remembered to come and give thanks to God? But the good news I have for you is that at least you are here. So you are the only one that have come to give thanks to God. And the Lord will accept your praises. He will accept your thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Media team, please remind me uh, immediately after this message, let me sh share the prophecies for year 2021 from Daddy Joe for some of us so that you will relate to some of these things I'm so talking about. Science is good. But we have to come to the realization that God rules the world. God has the only solution to the problem. The problem of coronavirus, science, they are trying their best. Doctors, they are trying by their best. Nurses are trying their best. I'm also one of the healthcare workers. I'm also trying my best. But solution is in the hand of the most high God. The one who reigns in the affairs of men. And that God of heaven will provide that solution to that problem in the mighty name of Jesus. So Jesus said, we are the ten cleansed, we are the men. It's only this one that came back to give thanks. And the good news with those that will come to give thanks back is that they will receive wholeness, full, total recovery. I am praying for you in the name of Jesus. As you have come here today, thy faith will make you whole in Jesus' name. Amen. This year, you will not be a victim of circumstances in the name of Jesus. You will not be a victim of coronavirus in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, a thousand shall fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy side. He said, but nothing by any means will come near you. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Thanksgiving to God can be expressed in several different ways. And I will tell us three ways and I will close. When you plan to give your thanksgiving to God, it can be expressed in several different ways. Thanksgiving to God in an acceptable manner guarantees an immediate response from God. If you can follow some of the scriptural ways of giving thanks to God, you get immediate response from God. Number one, I'll give you an example of three people that give thanks in different ways. You can choose any of those ways. The first way, you can give special thanksgiving to God with your soft thanks. The book of Second Chronicles chapter 1 verse 6. Solomon, the Bible says, and Solomon went up thither to the brazen altar before the Lord, which was at the tabernacle of the congregation. And what did he do? He offered a thousand burnt offerings upon it. He knew that uh, a thousand burnt offerings is not enough for what God has done for him and for what God will still continue to do for him. So he chooses to offer a thousand burnt offerings to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, this year, they will not look for emergency fund because of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because if somebody is at the point of death and they say, well, they have to raise a million dollars so that they can do heart transplants, so that they can do lung transplants. And they say, are you sure he's going to survive? We raise the money. They say, yes. And people begin to run elter scatter. You will not be a victim of kidnapping in the mighty name of Jesus. Where we came from, when they kidnap somebody, they may ask them in our own currency, they may ask them to go and look for 100 million. And the families will begin to run elter scatter. Elter scatter. They, if they can't get 100 million, they will be looking for 50 million. And guess what? You will not imagine where they will get such kind of money. And the kidnappers will collect. The worst part of it at times is that even collecting that money at times, the kidnappers may still choose to kill the, their culprits. But when it comes to offering your sacrifice to God, for Solomon, he said, I am offering a thousand bond offering unto God. If they ask us and say, oh, my people, it's time. Just trust God 
and come and offer a thousand dollars before God for preservation. Just trust God. Some people will say they've come again in that church. A thousand. Don't they know how much it takes to work? But when emergency comes, when it comes to the issue of lawyers, when it comes to issue of emergency, uh, yeah. <laughs> those money, in fact, that is the, the least you can ever think of. But this year, the Lord will keep you safe in the mighty name of Jesus. So for Solomon, the first way is that um, uh, you can choose to give your substance with all joy, not by coercion, not because somebody is speaking. Just, you just want to appreciate God. In some of these ways, God rules the world by principles. What happened immediately after Solomon did that? God gave him a blank check. God said, Solomon, ask whatever, whatever you want me to do for you. And the man was so clever, he asked for wisdom. God said, not only will I give you wisdom, I will give you riches, I will give you this, I will give you this. He got immediate response from God. I am praying for you today. You will get immediate response from God in the mighty name of Jesus. Another way by, by which you can render your thanksgiving to God was what that one leper did. One of the lepers fell down, glorified God with a loud voice, with singing, with praises, everything within him. He said, I may not have all those money, but I just want to dance. I want to praise God. He fell down and he glorified. He was not mindful of others who are looking at him and said, these idiots, are you the only one there? See, when he gets to that period, people will call you a manners of name. Don't care. When it comes to dancing now, uh, you see, I won't even mind you. I will do my agbada like this. I will do it like this. Whether you like talk, when you get home, it doesn't concern me. Why have to run? I am not doing it because of you. You are not doing it because of me. But if you know that you want to get results from God, it's a way of thanksgiving. You see, it's, the, it's only the living that will praise God. So, uh, the one way is by glorifying God with a loud voice, by the shout of hallelujah, by praising the name of the Lord. The third way, because of our time, was what David did. David showed gratitude in song and dancing. Second Samuel chapter 6 verse 14. David said, what shall I render unto God for all what you have done for me? The Bible says, verse 14, and David danced before the Lord with all his might, and David was guarded with a linen effort. You can dance, you can sing, you can rejoice with all your heart unto God. And as I'm closing this message because of our time, God responded to Solomon, the first person, by giving him a blank check. He said, ask for anything you want. He wanted. The second person uh, for the leper, that leper was completely made whole after he overturned. Go and read the scripture very well. For the remaining night, we did not hear anything about them again. But for that one that came back to give thanks, when God did anything in your life, give thanks to him. Bless him. Magnify him. And for David, God was pleased with David. And do you know what God did for him? He established his throne forever. God was pleased with David. And he established his throne forever. So the good news I have for you today is that Learn how to praise God in all circumstances. The Bible says, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God for us in Christ Jesus. Please, over that issue that is bothering your mind, begin to give thanks, even when you get to your house. You have been denied many times over your whatever you are asking for. Begin to give thanks over that denial. All of a sudden, 
Denial will become acceptance. You will be accepted in the mighty name of Jesus. So as you give thanks to God today, you will receive what we call irreversible blessings from God. Bible says, it's the blessing of the Lord that make it rich and added no sorrow. The kind of blessing God will give you this year will be the one that will not add any sorrow to it in the name of Jesus. Learn how to praise God. Learn how to rejoice. Learn how to give thanks to God. See, you will be the architect of your destiny this year. Whatever you carry, don't let the devil put your head bow down and begin to cry and begin to mourn and begin to over something that is irrelevant. Just know that it's because you are still in good shape. That's why you remember all those things you have not done. The mere fact that you woke up this morning, you lift your hand. It's not that the nurses are the one helping you to lift it. You lift your leg and you lift. You shake your head like this. There are some diseases that if you have them, they will say, don't, sh don't shake, don't shake. In fact, there is what we call in science, in medical science, there is what we call logroning. Somebody is having uh, what we call laminectomy. Sorry for those who are a medical gram terminologist. There is an operation called laminectomy. If they do it for someone, they will instruct the nurses very well, the doctors very well, that the fellow must not move himself. If he has to move, log grow. You have to, the nurses have to log grow the fellow. Is there anyone that they are log growing here today? So you can shake your body, you can lift your leg, you can raise your head. Stand up, let's bless the name of the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord in my life. I have a reason to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have a reason to I want you to first sing that song before we go into the thanksgiving. I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord in my life. I have a reason to praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I have a reason to praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. But as you are going this year, brethren, I want you to seek Jesus. Is the author of life, is the healer, is the deliverer. Cling to the old rugged cross. Stop using your own wisdom. Apply the wisdom of God. The Lord will uphold you, He will keep you safe, He will sustain you in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we bless your name. We thank you, Father, for keeping your people safe. Despite the year of the pandemics in 2020, ah, you kept them safe. Even when they are sick, you heal them. The Bible says, Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. Despite all those afflictions, you deliver them out of them all. Lord, we give praise to you, we worship you. We adore your holy name. This year, the shout of hallelujah will not cease from our mouth in Jesus. Like that one leper that came back to give thanks. And you give him all names of all his diseases. You cleanse him completely. For your people as they begin to dance, oh God. But if there is anyone that is still having one form of diseases or ailment in their body. Father, let the power of God heal such today in the name of Jesus. As many that are on the waiting list, over one miracle or the other, as they begin to dance forward, Father, let it be their tongue in the mighty name of Jesus. Perfect all that concerns your people and let your name be glorified. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Bless somebody, shout hallelujah. Thank you very much for watching that very wonderful video. 
I hope and I know that your life has been transformed by the sermon or the ministration you just watch right now. I want you to do one thing for me if you've not done it already. I want you to subscribe to this YouTube platform. I want you to click on, click on notification bell so that you can get updates on when we post um, our videos. I want you to also share this video to your friends and family if you feel that someone needs it. I want you to share it to them so that you can also inspire them. I want you to also give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down in the comment section. If you've done all these things, thank you very much for doing them. And if you've not done them, please do it right now. God bless you.